Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, staircase uh, problem as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this segment uh, AG is 5 units whereas uh, this segment uh, CG is 6 units and moreover uh, these uh, perpendicular and horizontal uh, segments uh, are uh, equal in length and furthermore all these uh, angles are 90 degrees each and now our task is uh, to calculate uh, the length uh, a b please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and we know that all uh, these uh, segments uh, are uh, equal in length so therefore i'm going to label this segment uh, lowercase a this segment lowercase a lowercase a lowercase a and lowercase a across the board and now let's make an observation we know that this whole uh, segment uh, cg is uh, six units so therefore uh, this segment uh, ec is going to be half of this six so this segment is going to become uh, three units and now we are going to focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, cde and we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to find the value of this uh, lowercase a and here is our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is uh, 3 whereas our two other legs are uh, lowercase a and lowercase a as well let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula so we got uh, a square plus a square equal to 3 square let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 2 times a square equal to 9 and now we are going to divide both sides by 2 so therefore we are going to have a square equals to 9 uh, divided by 2 and now i am going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our lowercase a value is going to be 3 divided by square root of 2 and now we are going to rationalize this uh, denominator so therefore we are going to multiply and divide uh, by square root of 2 and here we can see square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to be equal to simply 2 so therefore uh, our uh, lowercase uh, a value simply turns out to be 3 times uh, square root of 2 divided by 2 so thus our uh, this uh, lowercase a value turns out to be 3 times square root of 2 divided by 2 and now we are going to draw some auxiliary lines uh, to make our job simpler as you can see in this uh, next step i have extended uh, this horizontal line uh, ag all the way to this point p and likewise uh, i have extended uh, this uh, perpendicular line bc all the way to point p as well such that our this uh, angle is a 90 degree angle and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, segment uh, cp is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two individual segments uh, a and this uh, lowercase uh, a as well so therefore uh, this segment has got to be 2 times a and likewise uh, this segment uh, gp is going to be 2 times uh, a as well since uh, this segment uh, is lowercase a and likewise this segment is uh, lowercase a as well and now we are going to focus on this uh, big right triangle uh, apb we know our this uh, side uh, ap is going to be 5 plus 2 times a so i can write 5 plus 2 times a and likewise uh, this side uh, bp is going to be a plus uh, 2a is going to make it uh, 3 times uh, a and now we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, this side uh, a b is our hypotenuse 
whereas our two other legs are uh, 5 plus 2a and uh, 3a. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So our uh, one side is uh, 5 plus uh, 2 times a whole uh, square plus our other side uh, is uh, 3a whole uh, square equals to our hypotenuse is uh, a b square. And now let's recall this famous uh, identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus b square plus 2 times uh, a b. So therefore we can write this one uh, as uh, 25 plus uh, 4 times uh, a square plus uh, 20 times uh, a plus uh, now we're going to take care of this one that is going to be 9 times uh, a square is going to be equal to a b square on the right hand side and now we are going to combine these uh, like terms so therefore we can write uh, 25 plus uh, 13 times uh, a square plus uh, 20 times a equal to a b square and now we know that our lowercase a value is 3 times square root of 2 divided by 2 i am going to substitute uh, that value over here as you can see so therefore we can write uh, 25 plus uh, 13 times our a value is 3 times the uh, square root of uh, 2 divided by 2 whole uh, square plus uh, likewise 20 times uh, our a value is 3 times square root of 2 divided by 2 is going to be equal to a b square and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole thing uh, if we take square of this one that is going to give us uh, 9 uh, divided by 2 and likewise when we multiply this whole thing that is going to give us uh, 30 times uh, square root of 2 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced uh, this whole uh, square part with this uh, 9 divided by 2 and likewise when we multiply everything on this side that is going to give us 30 times square root of 2 so therefore uh, this is going to give us uh, 25 plus when we multiply this thing that is going to give us uh, 117 uh, divided by 2 plus uh, 30 times uh, square root of 2 equals to a b square and now if we add uh, these uh, two terms uh, that is going to give us uh, 167 uh, divided by 2 so therefore i can write our a b square value as uh, 167 divided by 2 plus uh, 30 times uh, square root of uh, 2 and now we are going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our uh, this uh, side uh, a b length is going to be equal to the square root of uh, 167 divided by 2 plus uh, 30 times uh, square root of uh, 2 units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations uh, the a b segment length uh, turns out to be square root of 167 divided by 2 plus 30 times the uh, square root of 2 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 11.222 units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye